Okay, a short video of what I did in class. Um, this one of Sitting Bull was first blocked in, and then I went in, and you can see where, everywhere you see the highlighted areas, that's all wiped away with a rag, and I showed you how I did that. So it gives you this really soft highlight. There's no white paint in here for highlights. It's still in kind of the beginning stages, of course, um, as I was working out, you know, just placement of everything in proportions. And that's basically the blocking in stage. And then I had that issue with the mineral oil dripping. A lot of that had to do with the surface being so tough that I had to thin out the paint. Um, the gesso, if you don't sand it down, is just really, just sucks that paint right up. This was what I did in the second class and I decided to just leave this one as a blocking in. The highlights are white paint and that's really just, it's still very, very rough. Part of the blocking in, I'm just, I start to define more and more. And this is a headdress, which this will end up being an underpainting for white feathers because I know by the time I get here, oops, um, it's gonna be dry. This will also be dry, so it'll serve as an underpainting. And then his clothing, uh, I decided to choose an orange for, that's like a leather. And then fur, I chose a blue. So I kind of went to the contrasting colors uh, for brown, at least two. Um, there's other, you know, other primary colors or complementary colors that mix to make brown, of course, red and green, purple and yellow. And you'll see some of that actually in the face. So there's a lot of colors in that face when I block in. You know, I use blue, I use purple, I use red. Um, did not really use brown at all, other than when I initially mixed that paint, I used neutrals. As you noticed, um, this will these will go through many stages until I get to where I want them to be. But, um, so I'm gonna try to kind of combine the two, wiping out technique on this one, I'll continue that. Um, I kind of like the way some of that mineral oil kind of dripped. Uh, it's more controlled now, and it's no longer taking over the face. But that's the challenge of gesso board if you don't sand it down and make it smooth. So anyway, um, I will start to paint on these and kind of bring them to a more finished state.